Caught on camera, two men accused of trying to rob the home of a son and his elderly mother at gunpoint can be seen just moments before that crime. It happened in the 400 block of Porter Street on the southeast side. The victim, who was pistol whipped, tells the night team's Jaffney Gray she wants the suspects caught for the sake of his mother's safety. I was fighting this. He, he told me, give me your money, mother. Adrian Hernandez reliving a scary experience that happened around midnight Saturday. San Antonio police say two suspects captured here on Hernandez's surveillance video entered his home in the 400 block of Porter Street. He opened the door and he went inside. In that door, it was locked. Hernandez says he was getting out of the shower when he realized the men were inside. Tony pointed me and he hit me with a pistol. He said he then ran to his bathroom. I closed the door. He was banging the door. When he let go the door, I don't, he shoot a pistol. Hernandez said as soon as the door opened, he noticed another man sitting in his bedroom chair. That's when he started to fight. I was fighting with him. I was bleeding when he, the first hit with a pistol. At the time of the home invasion, Hernandez said his now ex-girlfriend, sister, and his mother were there. Both he and his mom sustained injuries. Does it hurt still? Yes, I, I got a lot of pain and, and my brain is going ba ba ba. The two masked men left empty handed. Hernandez said he believes his ex set the entire thing up, but that has not been confirmed with police. He said while he hopes everyone involved turns themselves in, he will be working closely with his lawyers and investigators to get them off the streets. Are you scared? No, I am not scared. I scared for my mother, not for me. Again, San Antonio police have not confirmed whether or not the victim's ex-girlfriend was involved, but there are two suspects still at large tonight. They're asking anyone with any information that can lead to an arrest to call police. Live from Public Safety Headquarters, Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.